Good, good day. It's day. <laughs> I've come to the realization that I've officially reached the age of where I'm auntie. I may not be sis anymore. I may not be, you know, all those other things. I may be auntie at this point. And so as auntie, I kind of want to just stop by and just give you some quick advice or some things that I would not do if I had the chance to do it over again. So one of the things that I would not do is I would never drink. Why? Because as I got older, I found out that my blood sugar was out of whack. And how many of you know that alcohol turns into sugar in your body? Increasing your likelihood of getting diabetes. I don't have diabetes, but I'm just saying alcohol increases your likelihood. Another thing that I would not have done when I was younger, I would have never smoked. any Like, I smoked uh, Black and Miles back in the day. I would have never done that because it hurts your lungs, number one. Increases your chance of cancer, number two. Number three, it just, it you'll have a, a, a cough um, that just sometimes won't go away. Um, another thing I would have done better had I, if I was able to go back, I would exercise more, definitely. I would exercise more and I would eat healthier. I would definitely incorporate a lot of more uh, vegetables into my diet broccoli, cucumbers, leafy greens, all that stuff, because it helps your colon, it helps your body, it gives you more energy. Um, when I was younger, I would have drank more water, definitely drank more water instead of so sodas and juices and uh, slushies. I used to be the slushy queen going up to QT, just drinking all the slushies, just mixing all the flavors. Um, I would have also said to myself that um, there's some people who you don't even need to entertain because they don't come to bring anything to your life. They simply come to take away. Um, I would have told myself to be a better judge of character and not jump into relationships just because he likes me and I like him. But I would have done more research during the data, excuse me, the dating, because that's what you're collecting, data. During that period, I would have done more data research as opposed to, oh, you like me, I like you, let's have a good time together. I would not have um, been with uh, men who I was with physically, nor mentally, nor in any aspect. I wouldn't even entertained. Um, that's another thing. Another thing would have been, uh, I would have told myself to save more than you spend. Save more than you spend. I definitely would have said that to myself. Save more than you spend. I would have told myself that time is one of your best and biggest assets. And how you spend your time is definitely important. You don't have a lot of time to waste. And you should use your time wisely to be productive and I'm not necessarily productive in a material sense, but even just producing joy. Like, how do you use your time to produce joy? Do you go for walks? Do you go and do things that make you happy and give you uh, a sense of fulfillment in life? Um, some other things I would have told myself. I mean, there's plenty of things I would have told myself. But I think that's a good start right there. And I'm saying all of this to say this because I know I have a lot of young ladies and young women, even some young, older women on my timeline. And um, some jump in my inbox like, hey, auntie. And I'm like, hey, I thought I was still young. But if I'm about to be 46, then yeah, I'm knocking on 50. And, and it doesn't even feel like it, y'all. But I, I don't know. Anyway, life is good. Um, but I say all of this to say that maybe I can help someone before they get to my age. I maybe can help someone even now reconsider how they handle themselves and how they handle life. Um, I would also tell myself, try to start your own business doing something. Yeah, you can go get a job. Yeah, you can go get a college education, all that good stuff. But try to start your biz a business doing something that you do. Like try to learn a trade, a vocation, something that you can do with your own hands that nobody can take away from you ever. Right. For me, it was makeup. It was photography. Um, it was the ability to write. Um, 
tutoring, though, like no one can take that from me because that's in me. That's a part of me. That's something that I know how to do. That's something that I am very good at. So I would seriously encourage myself and anyone who's listening to this video, find something that you can do with your hands or with your mind or your abilities that nobody can take away from you. Because this is what I've learned. Um, when you work a job, sometimes people hold that over your head. I have your job. I have your job. When you have gifts, skills, knowledge, and ability that nobody can take away from you, people could dangle whatever carrot they want to dangle in your face. But you got a basket full of carrots back there. So this one carrot is not going to uh, make or break you because you have so many other carrots. Does that make sense? So I would always encourage people, find something that no one could take away from you. Um, definitely. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Find out what marriage is before you actually get into it. Go to some kind of marriage counseling. Um, get around people who have been married successfully. Not just together, but they've successfully, successfully been married. And from there, just enjoy life. Like, I'm going to be coming back with some different tips as well. But I think that's a good place to start. So tell me if you enjoy these or if there's some that you'd like to add that you would tell your younger self. Okay? Love you.